And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen Shen. We played the all Demacia deck yesterday with the elites and with Garen, and that was really fun. We went 5 0 with it. Garen's just an awesome card that uh, I think is pretty underrated. And of course, that's kind of what I feel about Shen too. Shen, I feel like Shen's an awesome card. And so I wanted to play these two together. So we're going to play these as our champions and then basically just play um, good old Demacia stuff, a bunch of challengers. Because, um, you know, challengers work great with Shen. Um, and we're going to be trying Bannerman. We got uh, seven Ionia cards in here. All we have are just the Green Glade Caretakers um, and the Shens, and then just one Stand United because we're playing Bannerman. Stand United is just too good. Um, but we're, it's like we're playing more than one Stand United, though, because of the champion spells. So hopefully, you know, like we can get some of those as well. Because, of course, Stand United plus Green Glade Care Caretaker can definitely uh, end up in some early wins. Caretaker being another one drop, being able to play two one drops for us should help Bannerman also of just getting more bodies on the board for Bannerman. That should help there too. So yeah, let's just uh, put some pressure on our opponents with Demacia. And we'll go play five games over in Ranked. And uh, let's have some fun. Playing against They Who Endure. Or how many times have we played against They Who Endure so far? Let's see, three, four... I know we played against it three times with Fiora alone, and at least twice with Spooky Teemo. I guess, I think we just played against it one time with Yasuo Zed. So I think this is my seventh game against it in 16 games. Anyway. Obviously I love Tracker into War Chefs. That's great. Um, I guess I'm going to replace these. I don't love replacing Caretaker, though. I usually like keeping Caretaker, but I guess since I already have, like, a 1-2 that I really want. Kind of looking for, like, the champions. Yeah, that's true. Yesterday we had, like, all Riptide decks. And, yeah, that, that was our yesterday. We were just getting Riptide Rex every single game. Like, we had, you know, like, over 10 Riptide Rexes cast against us yesterday. And that's not great. Oh, what's that noise? The three, the three big decks. None of them are like super fun to play against. With they who endure, frostbite midrange, and riptide rex bilge water stuff. But they're not bad. It's just they're all so good. They're hard to beat. <laughs> that's why. That's why they're not real fun to play against because they're hard to defeat. Okay, so this attack means I'm trading... I trade two damage on War Chefs for the Hapless Aristocrat and the Sentry, and they draw a card. Is that a worthy attack? I think so, because blocking doesn't get any better. If I don't attack, they go to... They just... Um, if I don't attack, they attack, and it doesn't get better for me. Yeah, I mean, I think mid, I think mid range Demacia is strong right now. People don't play it too much, but I think it is strong as is. The question was, will it be strong after the next set? That's not worth using a single combat. Or... Sorry. Army's over here barking. That's a good card. That's a good card. Do you know it's also a good card? Genevieve Elmhart. Hmm. Their pride will cost them. 
I'm kind of surprised they didn't frostbite the elm heart that has the challenger, honestly. Keep them from drawing two. Yeah, let's keep them from drawing two. I'll just strike with this thing that's gonna die anyway. Our first bannerman whiffs. Well, that's unfortunate. The very first. The very first bannerman whiffs. Ugh. The worst of the whiffs, too. The green glade caretaker. So they only, they only have three things that can possibly block. Right now. Everyone's a garden. So I could challenge the Sejuani first and then have like War Chefs pump this up so then, th then this could kill a 1-1. Of course that would give them the opportunity to play another thing. And therefore I don't think that that's really worth using that scout attack. Oh, well maybe they don't have another thing. point I'm just worried about the Hoonder. Just kind of keeping my options open with this concerted strike against it. We can do 13 total damage to it with the help of Riposte and concerted strike. Can see the Demacian border from here. And looks like we need to do 13. I guess I should be doing that, the repost on the Elm Heart, technically. Alright, GG's. Oh, whoa, what was that? Undo. We did what was right. Demacia is pretty good. You wonder if they'll ever touch Twisted Fate? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, Twisted Fate's amazing. I mean, I've, I've been saying that ever since they, ever since I saw that card with the preview of being able to, yeah, it's just so versatile being able to choose any of those modes. That card is awesome. That card's really good. 
Um, and so because of Twisted Fate's versatility, you can put it in any deck. We've talked about that. Like you can put it in, in aggro, mid-range, control, combo. Any deck can use Twisted Fate really well. Every single deck. It's, it's pretty awesome. What if Red Card didn't do damage to the Nexus? What if it just dealt damage to the units and not the Nexus? So it wasn't just another way that for Bilgewater to do Nexus damage. Um, I'm actually going to keep all this. Now it's a slow hand, but my, my one and two drops aren't amazing against this deck, our opponent's deck. They are all about killing small things with like barrels and stuff like that. Oh, right, this doesn't have Challenger right now. I was thinking, like, they want to play Dreadway Deckhand, and so then I was going to... I guess the barrel is vulnerable from Dreadway Deckhand. Cool. That's what I wanted to do. And so that's what I liked about Protégé and Sergeant, is that these had they both had pretty good health. They wouldn't die to small removal spells. We're making that make it rain is, you know, that make it rain base, you know, had very, very little impact. I make these cards have very little impact. As good as we can do. Not let this 2 1 trade with anything. All right, so we result, we have three cards, they have four, but we also have three bodies in play. Now, obviously, they could have, like, Twisted Fate and, you know, clean up. But so far, I think we've navigated that as good as we could. Oh, right, they don't, they're not playing Twisted Fate, right? This is Thresh King Plank. Sweet. Don't have to worry about Twisted Fate. Because that card's great. Now, both their champions would be a problem. Idol. Discipline and steel. Feed Demacia. Follow my lead. Better not be ruinationing. More powder. That's that can be quite terrible for me. Um. So assuming that that they have withering whale to go along with that more powder, because that's the worst thing that could happen. How can I use these war chefs to the best of the ability? Assuming.
assuming that. I need to pump up the 4-3 Bright Steel Protector. I want... Um... So might as well, like, go... Pump up the 4-3. Have this pump this up, just in case. We'll have... Let's just do all the damage to them. Sorry. Okay, it was Grass the Undying with Drain 5. I think I would play Stand United right now. My block with Stand United? No, I mean, I'm basically planning on playing 4 Demacia next turn. Maybe I'll just take all of it. Monkey. Kill the monkey out so they don't get a powder monkey for a blocker. Could simply just attack. barriers here. Okay. 2-0. Oh. No champions needed. And no Shen, no Garen. Just good cards. I think I, I think I played that one very well, especially the first like four turns. I think I played those first four turns perfectly, especially like the no attack with the fleet feather tracker, and then get the get the powder keg after they played the dreadway deck hand. Very happy with how I played that game. Um. Yeah, and this is definitely my kind of deck, like, good old Demacia, this is, I think it fits my playstyle quite well. get them to spend a spell for nothing basically right like we didn't use any spell there already drawn a puff cap
So I'm just gonna wait till next turn for the Bright Steel Protectors. I could I could have used a protector this turn. But we're gonna wait till next turn with these challengers. And then with next turn, I will have the mana for repost as well. doing this. This part is obvious. I want to just do this. Could potentially be lethal. Do you think they have a Frostbite card? And they could have Brittle Steel. I think I just go for it. Force them to have Brittle Steel. Take 17. GG's. By putting that second barrier on the, you know, putting it on the 5-2 the definitely meant that they didn't want to block Green Glade, Green Glade Caretaker. And if, if I challenge the Chump Womp, then they'd have the 1-1. One, one. The 1-1 one, one will just block the Green Glade Caretaker. But challenging the 1-1, one, one, it means that, like, their 4-3, they don't want to throw their 4-3 in front of the Green Glade Caretaker. Find some cheaper stuff. I'm gonna keep Shen, but we need to find some cheaper things to try to get ahead. <laughs> we had the better burb. Where are you? Um, that's a tough one. We also have Vile Feast. That's a tough one. Yeah, I like to uh, wear ties is how I like to present myself. I like to look professional. Dress professional at least. Break their spirits and their souls. Everyone's a god. <laughs> it's not too bad. You call this a Not a bad star for them. Triple one drop, with two of them being one mana three threes and Blighted Caretaker. So I can trade Caretaker for Bark Beast and Prismatic. You know, I can go Prismatic Barrier, kill both their Bark Beasts, so for Prismatic Barrier and my one drop. But then I don't get to do anything else this turn. I think I would rather play... Rather play Shen. Balance requires a watchful eye. What's that noise? That's the tough call of Garen or hmm. Wish I had one more mana. Wish I could go War Chef, Sprite Steel Protector, and Prismatic Barrier. All.
Enforced equilibrium. Protect and strike. No one goes hungry. You have to get me out of here. Just leave me alone. All right, not bad. We got one slot left in play. That can be for Garen. For justice, for Demacia. I do have prismatic barrier in case of Sejuani. Okay. I can go for lethal. What would they have to stop lethal? They'd have to have like Vile Feast and they would go to one. It's probably worth going for lethal. They are under my oh, no, yeah, they won't even go to one because Shen, Shen gets that extra point here. So yeah, Vile Feast it doesn't save them. I guess I'd rather they, if they have Vengeance, I'd rather they kill the Shen than kill my Garen. GG's. Take 18. All right, four and zero. Justice triumphs. Demacia is good. I should just sit back and just, I should just be playing Demacia all day, you know, like we just played Demacia yesterday. All that Demacia went 5-0. Ooh, this is going to be a tougher one. Ash Harrowing. Could be a tougher one, at least. Man, Garen's good. Let's try to get some more pressure. Yeah, so basically we had um, we had our Shen level up, uh, which is why our Prismatic Barrier was turned into Repost, basically, after Shen leveled up. Because then, ah, when an ally gets buried, give it plus three, plus zero. Nothing escapes my watch. You smell that? A bite to cook it. Well, that's a great start for them. I was thinking that we were going to be able to really go underneath this kind of deck. Well, that's difficult to get underneath. Very difficult to get underneath. Torches. 
I mean, I can't complain. My hand's awesome, but I was thinking that this hand would be able to steamroll them, but maybe not. Three wolf. So that's gonna kill war chefs unless I protect war chefs. Um, it could also just have brittle steel, and then it still kill war chefs. Ouch. Fighting back. It's a real nice hand they have over there. Well, that could be a great draw. We'll have to see. No. Really hope they don't have flash freeze. So the the problem is I couldn't I couldn't save that thing with Ash. Oh god. Sorry, I couldn't save that thing with Prismatic Barrier then challenge. So I got surprised by Ash being played. Uh They have Brittle Steel also. That's trouble. Our one Bright Steel formation looks pretty silly because the game's probably going to be over by the time it's going to be cast. I need Repost here, not Prismatic Barrier. Repost doesn't save my thing, or I mean, Prismatic Barrier doesn't save my thing from dying to this Ash plus Rhyme Fang Wolf combo. Wow, and Brittle Steel? Dang, I had an awesome hand. There's, theirs is just better. Wow. Yeah, there's. This is as good as it could be. Wonderful card to draw. Hopefully no frostbite cards. Really hoping no frostbite cards. Please, no frostbite cards.
all the answers. Only number three as far as barriers go for Shen. And I'm top decking well. So Thresh is at four? Three. Okay, it's just at three. So both of the champions are at three as far as leveling up is concerned. This game's been super epic. I've had an incredible hand. They have had perfect hand and we are back and forth I'm not playing around Ruination, I don't think. I think I just play the Bright Steel formation next turn. Don't think I should play around Ruination. Yeah, I really, I really don't think I should. They are under my protection. There's just too many cards with like all the frostbite stuff. That needs to try to press the advantage. I'd like them to use like a harsh winds now because whenever we attack again with bright steel protector uh we'll give everything barrier again and shen will pump everything up again it's so, like if their plan is just like harsh winds and brittle steel i'd love that to happen right now Okay, so that's going to kill the 8-1. So they just go to 20. They can't go to any more. So we'll fight. And we'll kill... Thresh. Okay, so they can block two things. They're at 20 life. They're not going to die. Right? Or do they die? 11 plus 9? Oh, I think they die, actually. Yeah, I, think that's, I think this is 20 right here. If that thing, the barrier, so it gets plus 3, and then, yeah, that's, that's 20. So they can block the 36 power and the 15 power. They still take 20. 
Man, what a game. Hopefully that's game. They don't just have like zero mana something. Dang, what a game. You fought with honor. I drew two awesome cards those last two turns of Genevieve Elmhart and single combat. I just had an awesome hand. So did they, and that's what made it a great game. <clears throat> okay, so that's that's Garen Shen. Um, see, Shen's just really underrated with all these barriers. Got to do a bunch of combat tricks with those barriers, and man, probably the MVP of all those games is probably Greenglade Caretaker. Man, this thing was incredible. That last turn, it was a 35 power. <laughs> we had a 35 power Green Glade Caretaker. It's a one mana card, and it was 35 power. That is crazy. Just an awesome deck. I mean, I I just think that Demacia is really underrated. It's you you know you get to these curve outs and everything. You can beat anything, and we we played against a lot of very good decks, and definitely held our own. So there's Shen Garen. Maybe this is the the new thing instead of Shen Zed that I've had success with before. Um, Garen's just super good. So liked this one quite a bit. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Hopefully y'all really enjoyed this video. Also, if you try this deck out, leave those comments. Let me know how they go. Or if you tried out the Demacia Elites deck from yesterday that we also went 5-0 in, mas in uh, Master's Rank, leave those comments. Let me know how that one went. But awesome games. Uh, had a lot of great games today. Like the Spooky Teemo, we went 2-3, and three, but those games were incredible. The Fiora alone, we had some incredible games there too. Um, hopefully y'all check out those videos. Definitely recommend those. Um, uh, but that's all I got here. So thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Y'all are amazing. Everybody there, you know, everybody here on Twitch, everybody on YouTube later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I can't say that enough. All right. Anyway, um, thanks again for watching. I will see you for the next video.